Being able to cycle every day is the closest thing you can get to Nirvana. There are some things about it we just can't stand. Here are seven things we hate about everyday cycling. Wheel suckers. Wheel suckers can be seen in the unlikeliest of places. From the quiet country roads on your weekend ride to the city streets you use for your commute. No one likes an unwelcome wheel sucker. They creep up behind you looking for some kind of drafting benefit no matter how fast you're riding and before you know it they're inches away from clipping your wheel and causing absolute carnage. Next time you encounter a wheel sucker, do your best to drop them or give them a series of menacing looks so they know you're not in the mood. Phone zombies. Phone zombies are everywhere these days. They can be identified by the smartphone glued to their hands even when walking and the vacant looks etched on their faces at all times. Phone zombies don't care much for other humans. They will often step out into the road without so much as a glance towards other people who, heaven forbid, may be using the road at the same time as them. Cyclists who don't signal. Cyclists are generally pretty good at looking out for each other on the road, but one thing we hate are fellow cyclists who don't signal. These cyclists either just don't know the rules of the road, or are so confident in their own riding ability, they don't think it matters. But signalling to let other road users know where you're about to turn is essential to help avoid unnecessary and downright dangerous collisions. All it takes is a quick look around you before sticking your arm out to signal right or left and everyone's happy. Cyclists who don't use mud guards. Mud guards are often resented as unfashionable accessories which add extra weight to a road bike. But they're also incredibly effective at stopping mud and general road spray from getting all over you and other cyclists. The last thing you want when you're trying to get a good draft from a cyclist in front is a face full of wet grit. So let mud guards take care of the problem for you. Your washing machine will thank you too. Drivers who don't pass you when there's loads of room. We've all been there. You've got a car stuck right behind you which for some reason is unwilling to pass even though there's loads of room to do so. Despite your best efforts to wave them through, the hesitant driver just won't budge. This puts unnecessary pressure on the cyclist and often causes traffic to form behind the car, resulting in a line of frustrated drivers desperately trying to overtake. Red lights. Red lights are great. They bring control and order to our chaotic roads, but they can also be incredibly frustrating for cyclists. We've all been there. You've built up some nice momentum from the last set of lights, and as you're approaching the next set, all of a sudden, they turn red. Cue some heavy braking and another deep sigh as you're forced to unclip, breathe in those fragrant diesel fumes from the surrounding cars and wait anxiously for the lights to turn green. Then, guess what? It's time to clip in once more and away you go. Punctures. There are a few things more deflating than the crushing realization that you've got a flat tire. There you are, enjoying a lovely ride, and before you know it, you're curled up on the side of the road, desperately trying to get a ridiculously tight tire off a rim you now swear is the wrong size. There's nothing cool about changing a flat, only humiliation, as the rest of your mates ride off into the distance, leaving you to change the tube and furiously inflate the tire with a mini pump that makes you look like a complete twat.